So now in this video, we basically have an AND gate circuit here, but we are using a couple of NAND gates to make an AND gate. So it's a way to do that if you want an AND gate, but uh, for whatever reason you have NAND gates to work with, you can make your, you know, NAND gate circuit, but then use another NAND gate there to invert it. Um, the output, if uh, since we have A and B tied together, that's both of the inputs. So um, if uh, one of them is high, both of them are high. If one of them are low, then both of them are low. So we have an AND gate uh, right there, except for it's an AND gate. So uh, whatever we give in will be the opposite coming out straightforward, uh, not logic gate. And um, so when it comes to the inputs there, we're getting the opposite of what we want there, but then we're inverting it. Hopefully it makes sense. Now, last video I did, we were using a uh, 4000 series integrated circuit, which had NOR gates, which are um, like the NAND gate, where you can combine them to make any other uh, logic gate. Um, but uh, with the uh, 7400 series, so I'm using the 7400 integrated circuit that has NANDs, the uh, 74HC08 is AND gates. So we could just use one of those if uh, we just wanted the inputs and uh, the output there combine this into one component basically what it's doing um, but again uh, for whatever reason we're not using that and um, here is the AND gate true table if any input is uh, low then the output is low doesn't matter how many are high in this case we only have two inputs so it would only be one that's high or none um, all inputs have to be high in this case there's two in order for the output to be high so that will be when the red LED lights up right there. When the output is low, that is when the blue LED lights up. And again, this particular integrated circuit, if you saw my uh, recent videos, that integrated circuit could not light LEDs very good. It could have very low current, do okay. Um, but this one can provide uh, quite a bit of uh, power to LEDs, a fair amount of uh, current. So there you can see we got both jumpers to the negative supply right there. There is our output, uh, third pin down, wherever that is, one, two, three, there we go. There's our output, and that's going to the input of uh, one of the uh, next NAND gate, and then it has a jumper there connecting it to the other input. So both these inputs will see the same voltage right there. There's only two states that we can do. So right now, the output is high of uh, that NAND gate, but it's being inverted, so we see a low output. There you can see the blue LED uh, resistors to the positive side, shortly cathode headed to output. So I can uh, make this one positive right there, the red jumper or the uh, blue jumper positive. And uh, so it's a NAND gate. I'll go up there, didn't want to move. We can go positive uh, there. So there we showed three states, both of them to negative, uh, one to the negative or the other one to the negative. We have that fourth condition there. Um, right now it's floating, it's picking up stray signals in the air, it's gonna bounce back and forth. Um, you would have to address that if that would be a problem. There we go, we got both of them to the positive supply. Now we have a high output. So you can see the 220 ohm resistor to the negative supply uh, right there. So we know that the output is high. Um, so that is for taking a couple NAND gates right there and converting them into an AND gate. Maybe we have uh, one or two NAND gates that we're already using for whatever reason. It's useful to have NAND gates. And uh, therefore, we're just taking the two we're not using and making it an AND gate that we need um, for whatever reason. Also, since NAND gates are universal logic gates, um, that's the one, uh, NAND or NOR, uh, but probably NAND, would be the one you want to buy the most of. If you're going to buy a kit of logic gates, might as well get uh, NAND uh, logic gates because you can make them into any other uh, logic gate. Hopefully that makes sense. So, yeah, I just have the resistors going directly to the supply. Inputs don't let current in or out, and uh, that's why we can just directly apply a voltage to the inputs. The inputs that we are not using, we should tie to the positive or uh, negative supply just to stabilize things, but uh, ultimately the circuit will work uh, probably the same unless there's a, a lot of chaos going on. Um, the outputs that we are using will probably work about uh, the same right there. And uh, again, I have a 1000 ohm uh, resistor for the blue LED. Much less current gets the uh, blue LED just as bright as the red one for the most part, as you can see there. It's really bright, even though we have four times the resistance there. 
it does drop also some more voltage than the red LED so there's even less current going through than what the resistor is setting um, topics from uh, earlier videos I'm gonna go on that so yeah um, I think that is about it remember this true table is for the AND gate so that's both of these put together if you just take one of these the NAND gate where you see zeros there will be one and then uh, where you see a one there will be zeros so the output is different that's the difference between the NAND gate and the AND gate NAND is not AND so it's not zero 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 one it's one 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 zero right there hopefully that makes sense so um yeah that's it for this video hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos i posted on the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you in the next video